Well, UCF in the two matchups this year did a nice job getting back, taking BYU out of transition, and keeping them under double-digit threes in both games. The Knights control the opening tip. We talk about their defense. What do they like to do offensively? Well, they're going to use a lot of that possession. They're going to try to control tempo. They are shooting it much better of late from three than they have all year. C.J. Walker met by Noel Waterman with the block. teams in the NCAA. Spencer Johnson has started all 31. Here's Ali Khalifa for three. And there's that match on. Diallo off the mark. He's got to catch it deeper, which for him, it, it starts with where he catches it. And, hold and the Cougs are two for two from Diallo. What makes this UCF defense so good? So they're long, they're physical, and they very hard to score at the rim. And they hit you with that backdoor play. Diallo to the back. Off the inbounds, another three. That's Trevin now. Well, if it's your first time seeing BYU and you heard they take and make threes, are you not entertained? BYU already three for four from three. And UCF over the field. Just a lot of dribbling that winds up in a long three off of the dribble. Khalifa, aggressive. has an and one opportunity. Sixth man of the year, number two in white. Step too slow over the top. He is wet. Big 12 as well for Jackson Robinson. Sellers. Sellers aggressive, but it's blocked. That's the first triple of the game for UCF. Diallo inside to Jones, and it's good. He knocks it down. The leading scorer in Big 12 play over the course of the last month and a half. Seven to shoot. Khalifa shoes the dribble handoff and goes right to the rim himself. And he's met at the rim and blocked by Silla. Here's Johnson again. Off the mark on the three and one of the Watch out that Spencer Johnson cleaves. Here's Robinson, another three. Jones has been uh, an offensive surprise in the first half. And Waterman catches in with the three. So Chris, BYU already has seven threes. They're 18 and two when they make ten more. There's an easy two for Spencer Johnson. to the Big 12 tournament last year. Of course, Bill Self had his health issues, missed the tournament, and then the NCAA tournament. For those two guys to not be healthy at this event this year, it's two years in a row, Kansas has not been at full strength. Who do you think steps up for the Jayhawks in the absence yeah, of Dickinson? Great question. You know, can Dewan Harris go for 25? Can Nick Timberlake have a big game? Cincinnati's favored in that game, for those of you who participate. Mm. Can try to go 
one on one. He does and has an and one opportunity. Again, they got to get stops in the other end, but BYU was doing a good job. Jones grabs it. Another fresh 20 for UCF. Antoine Jones. Coming up on one minute to go in the first half. Johnson left alone. High arcing three goes. Well, good job by Johnson fronting Triori in there, just fighting him to make it a tough pass. UCF has a chance to go two for one if they want to. Johnson for three. Again. And they ended the half 12 for 24 from the field, did UCF. So they are in this game, but BYU starts the second half the way they started the first. There's just, again, I don't know how you can start the half that way. You go under, there's no talk on the screen. You give up a three out of the, the, the halftime. Here's Johnson. C.J. Walker from the wing for three. Oh, no. And UCF has it. Walker, aggressive, got it. C.J. Walker, a good job identifying Khalifa on him. Walker, more athletic, quicker player, goes right by him. And a good use of the other side of the basket. Punch, counter punch, good response from the Knights. That's another three this time. Trevin now in his second of the game. Just a simple pin down and another assist for Khalifa. CJ Walker's on a heater. Here's Johnson. To now. And he gets it to go. Play, but it ends up in the hands of Noah Waterman. Oh. Left alone for only a moment, but he's short on that third. Johnson's got a two on one, takes it himself. First bucket of the second half for Darius Johnson. Well, UCF got lucky because the defensive miscommunication of Dallin Hall's three, but a long rebound. And these threes lead to some long rebounds. Good job by UCF gathering and getting the run out, the three on one. Diallo. Out of bounds, it'll stay BYU basketball. Press, they get up and down. It's going to be a tough matchup. One of those teams that can make the game wide open in that first round. Nice pass to Sellers to Jones for two. Time to shoot for the Knights. Step back three. By Tell you what, he is cooking. And he has put UCF on his back. I mean, that's just an individual dance on you. Saunders had to force it up with the shot clock running down. Here's Shamari Allen. Johnson. Eight to shoot for the Cougs. Five on the clock. Waterman. Shot fake. Got it to go off the window. And that starts with the pick and pop with Khalifa. You throw it back to him, and now the defense is in rotation, and they never recover. Allen, shots off the glass. Offensive rebound. Jones spins into the defense. And BYU comes away with it. Back out for three. Richie Saunders. Got it. They've made back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments for the first time in program history, looking to go back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back this year. And that one's good off the window. Push to 15. Johnson. Three of his own. Sellers. Oh, Came down 
with his own miss and gave it away. Offensive rebound, number 45 and white. And Saunders for three. Now more full court pressure from Johnny Dawkins dialed up. Saunders left alone. This time from the left wing. And tries and connects. He did everything he could. 32 points for number three in black, but it was not enough against the balanced attack of the BYU Cougars.